Welcome everybody to FIFA 2000, a game developed by EA Sports and released for the original PlayStation in October 1999. I'm Cenozoic and I'm here to take on this game. FIFA 2000 is the seventh game in the main FIFA series of football games, and one of the best aspects of the game is that it has the most detailed team and player customization options of the FIFA games released for the original PlayStation. In this video, I'm going to take advantage of this to recreate a version of the English club Shrewsbury Town and their team from the 1999-2000 season. I'm going to go further than that, however, by also creating a 1999-2000 version of Shrewsbury's rivals from across the border in Wales, namely Wrexham, and I'm going to play a match between the two teams. At the time, Wrexham were playing in the third tier of English football, and Shrewsbury were playing in the fourth tier, so as well as trying to recreate as closely as possible the home and away kits that the teams wore at the time, I have tried to assign as accurately as possible player skill ratings that reflect the levels of football that the two clubs were playing. So here we are taking a look through the custom teams and players that I have created and fans of Shrewsbury and Wrexham will recognise many of the players here. Now that I have everything set up in terms of the teams and players, we can set up the match, and I will be playing today's match as Shrewsbury. It will soon be time to kick off, and now that we are ready to go, I will speak to you again at half time. Hello there, my name is Gary Lineker and I'm here to introduce you to today's live game. Kickoff imminent here then, so without further hesitation, I'll pass you over to John and Mark for the kickoff. Yes, thanks Gary. Let's get straight into the game here then. Given away. And that's an awful tackle. I don't like to see that, and obviously the referee doesn't either. Free kick given. Oh, yes. The ball into the top corner and the keeper beaten. Classy stuff then. We can take another look here. One nil then here. Good movement. Takes the ball then. Well timed challenge. And yes, it's gone in. The keeper clearly wishing he was somewhere else. And that's well worth seeing again. All square then, 1-1 one, one here. Walking through them here. Oh, lucky. Possession given away kept out by the keeper that's a terrific save did well to get to that
got in and took the ball away. And a free kick awarded for a tackle which would be more at home in a kickboxing ring. Yes, it's there. The ball put away from inside the six-yard box. Another look at the goal then. one then and maybe they can build on that useful pass oh that keeper didn't know much about that collects the loose ball and possession given away He's hit the upright and safely played away from the area the ball given away then caught in there bit of a tough challenge that and the referee not letting him get away with it good touch possession lost He looks to be in some pain, he's in need of the magic sponge, I think. Excellent save with the tips of his fingers. That's a wonderful stop. Did well to get anywhere near it. Headed forward. Confident defending. Headed on. Loose ball picked up. Tries one. Goal kick played out. No good there at the back. Oh, that's a great save by the keeper. The ball stuck to his hands like glue. That's good goalkeeping, he did very well there. There's the whistle for the end of the first 45 minutes and the score here 2-1. Well, an eventful first half there, and I was fearing the worst after conceding an early goal scored by Carl Connolly, but I was able to get back into the game with a quick equaliser from Lee Steele. Unfortunately, Wrexham took the lead once again through Neil Roberts, but I have been creating enough scoring chances, including hitting the post, to give me confidence going into the second half. So the players are refreshed and ready for the second half. The second half underway then. That's a well-timed challenge. Met well and headed back. A good attempt there, just wide of the goal. Got some distance on the kick there. Needs to clear it. Corner kick, let's see what they make of this. The ball headed forward. The loose ball gathered up by the goalkeeper. Good pass. Cleared away then. And the loose ball jumped on by the keeper. The ball lofted upfield. Well anticipated there. Oh, wonderful control. Ooh. 
cleared away then by the keeper the goalkeeper taking no risks with that pouncing on the loose ball Klein well there the man in charge waves play on but they're clearly incensed by the sliding tackle picked up the ball well there they've given it away clean tackle good control he's given a penalty that's a close one for the ref but he's right there John you can smell the tension here it's there the penalty dispatched and the keeper beaten we can take another look at that then Level here at 2-2 now then. Quite a battle this is turning into. Good ball winning challenge. And the ball played out of the penalty area. They've lost possession. That's a terrible tackle. He might need stitches after that. Ball stolen. Stole the ball there. Took the player with the challenge, but no foul. Picks up the loose ball then. The crowd don't like that. He flew in with the tackle, but no foul given. Given away. Tipped away, did well to get even near that. Yes, the ball in the net, and how important that might prove to be. Fantastic football then, and well worth another look. The referee blows the final whistle, the players leave the field, the final score 3-2. Well, a fantastic last gasp win for me and Shrewsbury there, courtesy of a magnificent overhead kick by Mickey Brown. It was a really great game and had plenty of action and drama, not least when I equalised through a Lee Steele penalty with just over 15 minutes left to play, and that set the stage for Mickey Brown to score his very late winner. 3-2, the final score. I love about FIFA 2000 that it features all the team and player customization options you could wish for in a game from the era of the original PlayStation, and I've had great fun putting together these custom teams and playing a match between them. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video, and seeing this classic football game in action has helped bring back your own fond memories. I'm Cenozoic, thanks for watching.